hey, we are ended up doing three excellent scenes for this playlist. Because I'm a cheater. I'm a cheater. Um, first, I'm Brian. I'm Wolf. And we're coming to this playlist because we've actually been doing minute by minute breakdowns of the X-Men franchise. We've done a hundred videos recorded them so far and I believe 50 are out. So there's the first one if you want to check it out in the corner or in the description to see if you'd be interested in that whole cool format. But last scene I wanted to talk about is actually two scenes, but they're mirrors mm -hmm. to each other. So in the first X-Men, there were apparently a lot of vignettes in the beginning introducing a bunch of characters, but all of them were cut out except for the two most important, in my opinion, which was Magneto's scene and Rogue's scene. Personally, mm. it's obvious to me why those two were the ones left in because very subtly we see Magneto the villain and the heroic mutant who he's hunting right in the beginning. The whole movie is telling us verbally that he wants Wolverine, but structurally the movie is actually telling us he wants Rogue for mm. his ultimate villain play. Yeah, to I which didn't realize that. Yeah, and to which Wolverine even says later, like, uh, if you were so altruistic, it would be you in that machine, calling him out. But I especially like it because in Magneto's scene, he is an innocent boy trying to stay with his parents against Nazis. What he does is the prototypical heroic thing. He tears down a gate and fights against oppressors to stay with his innocent family. He has mm. the heroic moment in the two scenes where while it's not intentional, Rogue almost kills someone, mm. an innocent person. He, this boy is in a coma for weeks, maybe months. I don't remember mm. which, but she unintentionally does the prototypically villainous thing. She hurts an innocent person like to an extreme degree. So not only do I like that the two scenes mirror each other showing the antagonist and the hero he's hunting, but it also kind of flips the script in how their powers come about. The villain has the heroic moment, the textbook version of a heroic moment, something mm -hmm. we see Captain America do. He's a hero. You don't expect the villain to have that, which helps humanize him. But then we have the innocent person hurting another innocent person in a very mm -hmm. innocent setting. Just her bedroom, a first kiss, and that person gets hurt and shows her conflict inside. So I liked how many different ways it mirrors, even in the color palette. His is dark and dreary and exhausting and uncomfortable. And hers is idyllic and just Pleasantville, essentially, with color. <laughs> she she's in the family that's like the Brady Bunch type setting. This is very off the top of my head because we did two more minutes which are in the description, but it was something that I liked. I haven't developed it quite as much as it probably deserves. But we're already two days late, which in internet time is like two years <laughs> to, to add to the playlist. So I just wanted to add that, put that out there because I really did like how not only the film was putting it right in our face it should be obvious the whole time the twist that happens later in the train station but how those two characters do connect and mm. as george lucas would say have a bit of a rut no i don't think that's a perfect metaphor <laughs> they mm -hmm. the scenes don't rhyme they they anti-rhyme mm. but that's the dumbest thing i've ever said but i'm keeping it in there because i have no shame <laughs> There's a lot of other dumb stuff I say in our minute to minute breakdowns of the movie. A lot of smart stuff because, you know, Wolf's here. So. <laughs> and, oh, I can't believe I haven't said this the other two times. This is the mm. esteemed actor, Wolf Hogan, who is a star in the Russo Brothers' <laughs> next movie. Not a star. <laughs> he he uh. worked with, uh, did you work with both Russo Brothers or one of them on set? It was both of them, yeah. Both of them and Tom Holland. He's a fucking star. <laughs> he, he's going to be... Are you going to be Bishop in the new X-Men movies? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it's so funny that most likely no. But if I were to get an offer for any type of um, Marvel character, I would love to be the Silver Surfer. But oh, shit. That, yeah, right? I uh, love that cartoon. 
and like how I, I just love the Silver Surfer story before he becomes a Silver Surfer, like on his home planet and shit. It's just, uh, yeah, it's deep, man. <laughs> but, yeah. I know there was someone famous who played the Silver Surfer. Who was that? Uh, Lawrence Fishburne did the voice. Oh, know. shit, what? You know, for the, um, what's it called? Fantastic Rise of the Silver Rise Surfer. Of the Silver. Yeah. I don't think he was the body. I think the body was the guy who played. He was like the fish man from Hellboy. Doug Jones. Yeah, I believe it was like him. I'm also seeing James Arnold Taylor, but it's not saying exactly how he played it. I think um, it was an actor, and then Lawrence did the voice, which is cool. I love Lawrence's voice. Yeah, that's so weird. I thought it was the same actor, I think Alan Tudyk, who did Sonny. For some reason, I thought that I was wrong. Hmm. I was 100% incorrect. Sonny and I, Robot. Oh, yeah, dude, they sound a lot alike. And, like, they haven't got that, like, you know, robotic feel to their characters. Thank you. So, right, hashtag continue. Wolf Hogan for Silver <laughs> Surfer. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's, like, it'd be so funny. It's, like, instead of, like, hashtagging that, they, like, make a petition. <laughs> Do not cast Wolf Hogan no. as anyone in the Marvel Universe. Should it be hashtag Wolf Hogan Silver Surfer or hashtag Wolf Hogan Russo Surfer? <laughs> I doubt they're doing that as a film. Both. But uh, that would be funny. <laughs> Let's make both of those happen. If there's five tweets with those hashtags, <laughs> we're going to be amazed. <laughs> Only because of the views that we get. Right. <laughs> we'll uh, get it. By the time they need to do a Silver Surfer movie, we'll 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 have a couple hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say thank you, Wolf, for doing this last second, because I was really excited to be part of it. And check out all the other ones on the playlist. Do yours as well if you want. I mean, we're two days late, and I'm going to be editing all days to have them post today. So really, you know, you know the deal. <laughs> I shouldn't have to be telling you this, but check out our minute uh, breakdowns if you want. Because they're, and not not because of me, because of the esteemed actor Wolf Hogan star of the film <laughs> Cherry by the Russo Brothers. <laughs> All right, bye. Peace.